Meow. 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 Boo Kitty's being very patient. Meow. Not. <laughs> Boo Kitty is the opposite of patient. Good kitten internet. So, um. Today is the sixth anniversary of my father's death. Uh, I can't believe it was six years ago already. And Boo Kitty here was my father's kitty, if you did not know. So, she is the reminder I have of my father, and I don't have a huge amount of other things. It's going to be dark for a bit. I'm turning out lights as I go upstairs. Uh, that light's going to be staying on. You can hardly see anything. The lights are about to turn on again. On. There we go. So, six years ago today is the day that if you go in my Vita archives, on my very first Vita, my father died today. So, today being April 18th. Um, I still miss him quite a bit, but memories are starting to fade. And... That makes me a bit sad. My father deserves somebody to remember what he was like. He was definitely not a perfect man, not even close. Um, he and I, it's not that we didn't see eye to eye. In fact, he loved me unconditionally and I definitely needed that, but he was far from perfect. He had a lot of Problems. Mental, physical, whole nine yards. It's a little cold in here. Hmm. That might be because I'm wearing shorts. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Uh, so yeah, my father had a really nasty temper problem. Not that he would get violent or anything, just that, well, I pick up really easily off of people's emotions. I am a what I call a chameleic personality type, or basically my emotions tend to reflect the emotions of the people around me. So as a result, when my father would get extremely angry and kind of rage, for lack of a better way of phrasing it, even though it was raging at inanimate objects and so on, I would feel that anger immediately and want to hide. In fact, quite Ironically, even though my father's the one that's responsible for my love of computers, he's also the one responsible for me not touching the inside of a computer until I was 12, 13? 13, 13, 14, teenager years, roughly. So, the reason why is that when I was growing up, whenever my father needed to open up the computer, he was angry. Now, it wasn't that we were upgrading things or anything like that. It's because things were breaking. And he would be angry, and as a result, I had a strongly negative opinion and negative feelings toward opening up a computer. Uh, it took my dad a long time to realize it. He realized it, again, about teenage years, when we were actually doing happy things. Um, we were building my mom's computer, and I was going to help. This was... This was the second to last time my father actually helped me build a computer. Um, and he started opening up the case, and I immediately ran out of the room. I mean, consciously, I knew that, yeah, I was going to work on this computer. I didn't know hardware very well. I wanted to know. But unconsciously, I ran, because he would get angry. And... Yeah. So... Ironically, even though he was the computer person in the family, he's the only one that, um, when I started my current job as a server admin, he was the only one I could explain any of it to um, in my family. Not to say that my father knew that much about the admin side of things. Uh, my father was, at various points, a salesperson for um, a software, a retail software outlet, 
He's been a QA'er for an antivirus company. He was my supervisor at the antivirus company, in fact. Uh, which, he should have never been a supervisor. That was a horrible idea. He definitely got Peter principled. Um, to other electronics-related jobs. So, it's not like he had no knowledge of the industry or anything, but certain concepts didn't work out very well for him. Virtualization being a big one, and... Speaking of, I do still intend to make a how to sysadmin video specializing in how to set up a home lab. I just need a weekend to do that, and I haven't really had weekends lately. Um, where was I? Yeah, Dad. Um, so the reason why I'm bringing up his faults is that I think it's important to view the entire person. I'm not ripping into my father. Yeah, I loved him quite a bit. And I miss him pretty much every day. But just trying to remember the good parts of a person doesn't honor the person. It honors, well, it kind of over-glorifies them rather than honors them. So, yeah, people are complicated. Also, if you probably noticed that I didn't do a vlog yesterday, so... Technically, I did record a very tiny amount of footage. Um, my camera glitched again on that recording. And at that point, it was really late. I was exhausted because a friend had flown in a couple days ago. Um, she was able to come up here and roleplay in person for the first time in seven years. So, as a result, I kind of focused on that and decided, you know what, a friend who's been here for the first time in seven years is more important than my vlog. And sleep was even more important, especially since I got so little of it. So, yeah, sorry about the lack of vlog. Um, episode zero of my Let's Play of Might Magic 8 is going up right as I'm speaking. It might actually just be finished uploading now. I'm going to count that as yesterday's vlog just because... Uh, even though I recorded it today, because I normally have the first episode of a Let's Play count as a part of a vlog, and Might Magic 8 actually is related to my father. It is the last game that my father and I played together. So, we used to always play video games together. Um, even as a late teenager, I would do this. Um, I had mentioned this back in the first of the Might Magic 6 videos, but... He would be playing, and I would be sitting down with a book full of maps to be able to direct him in places or figure out, oh, this is where you can go to get, like, expert sword or stuff like that. We liked doing it that way. And we would also switch roles, I should mention. It wasn't just my father playing and I guiding him. We would do the other way around as well, uh, especially for certain styles of games. But... In fact, the Might Magic style of games, we frequently did the other way around. Um, but Might Magic 8 was the last one of these that we did together. Might Magic 8 would have been released in 1999, if I remember correctly. I would ask Editor Me to look, but Editor Me is just going to slap these videos together and not bother editing anything significant. Um, yeah, I think it was released in 1999, which by that point... I had been working at the antivirus place, so my father wasn't just my father, he was my co-worker, and at 99 he wasn't my supervisor yet, he was just my co-worker. But that meant that during the summers, I saw him every day. Um, my I was... I don't know if I actually mentioned this in a video. Uh, so my parents separated when I was five, and they formally divorced when I was 11. It took them a while to afford the divorce. Um, but in reality, they they were effectively divorced for quite a bit longer, basically, since I was five. Um, hey, no biting. Son thinks that I'm playing around with him instead of trying to give him attention. He's in crazy cat hour mode, basically. Anyway, um, so uh, my mother had had custody of me, and my father would have visitation every weekend. So, every weekend I was at my father's house. I really think that was a bad idea. That's probably part of the reason why I grew up with so few friends. I didn't get to see my friends on weekends. I would go to my father's house on weekends, and there weren't kids nearby my father's house. 
they all left. Um, there was no one anywhere near my age, near my father's house. I primarily interacted with adults, if anybody other than my father and grandparents for that matter. So every weekend I was at my father's house, um, which we eventually got to every other weekend just so I would ever have time at home. But when I started working, since I was working with him, I was able to convince him, I think I'm going to stop visitation now because I see you more often than my own mother, even though I was living with my mom, just because I would go to work for eight plus hours, come back home. The commute was about an hour each direction, a uh, little under. I would say hi to mom, eat dinner, go downstairs, play video games, go to sleep. So I would see my own mother maybe about an hour a day. I would see my father nine to ten hours a day. So I convinced him that, yeah, it was time to stop visitation. And I stopped it when I wasn't working because I wanted time to myself. And those were finally the times where I was able to effectively develop a social life. Unfortunately, that was also around the time that I was moving out and dealing with very heavy depression. Um, and then I moved to college, where visitation didn't matter anymore. I was an adult. Yeah. I understand from a parental perspective that they want to see their kids. And I agree with that. I think parents, assuming that there's, like, no harm being done to the kid, the kid wants to be with the parents and both parents and so on in a separation, that, yes, you should have the kid be able to visit both. But losing every weekend of your life is absurd. No kid should be going through that. That's, the, that's their time to relax. That's their time to actually play with their friends. And... If one parent is in a very different location than the other parent, you don't get to do that. I don't have a good answer for that. Just me going through it, I know that what I went through was not right. And again, my father is a very nice person. It's just... Anyway, the point of the video is that I want to remember my father and every... 18th of April during Vita, that's what I do. I play video games, which I just finished playing about three hours of Might Magic 8. I'm probably going to throw out one of those episodes, though, because ugh, it didn't go well. Um, and I wasted a lot of time that I shouldn't have. Or, not three hours, two and a half hours. The episode zero is only half an hour. So, I think that's going to be about it. I want some sleep now because I am severely lacking in sleep. I woke up at 5 in the morning this morning, and I went to bed, or I fell asleep somewhere between 23 and midnight. So, yeah, that wasn't much sleep. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!